Good morning, I'm meteorologist TJ Del Santo. Hope you're doing okay on this Tuesday morning. We are looking at another decent day here in southern New England. We're still under the influence of a northeasterly wind. That'll tend to bring in some clouds off of the ocean, but we'll have a fair amount of sunshine today. I think we're dry, staying a little bit cool for this time of year, but a nice day overall. As we go into Wednesday, we may start off with a little bit of sunshine, but clouds will tend to fill in as we go through the day. I think we're dry tomorrow, but tomorrow night, and especially on Thursday morning, we're looking at the chance for some rain showers, and we have that chance for showers kind of really uh, for most of the day. All right, so here's how today breaks down at the bus stops this morning. A little cool, temperatures in the 50s with some sunshine. Clouds tend to fill in as we go through the uh, course of the day, but still uh, some sunshine in the afternoon with temperatures uh, topping out in the mid to even upper 60s across the area. I think we're topping out at 67 in the Providence area. We're dry with a northeasterly wind, 5 to 12 miles an hour. Now for tonight, we'll have a blend of clouds and stars, maybe a little bit more in the way of clouds uh, later in the night, 54 degrees, wind from the northeast at 5 to 10. For tomorrow, a lot of clouds around. Might actually start off with a little sunshine. Temperatures topping out around 66 degrees with our winds becoming more southeasterly tomorrow. 5 to 10. We're dry during the day tomorrow. Showers Wednesday night, kind of off and on throughout the day on Thursday with temperatures topping out around 68. And it might be a little bit more humid on Thursday as well. So that's what we're tracking for the next few days. Let's turn our attention briefly to the tropics where we have a potential tropical storm developing down across the uh, Western Caribbean. You can see it, uh, this cluster of clouds right in here. That it could potentially form into Helena and work its way into the Gulf of Mexico, strengthen, and it could strengthen pretty rapidly to at least a Category 2 before making landfall. Somewhere likely in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, more than likely near the uh, panhandle of Florida. Uh, that could certainly change. If you have interest in Florida, certainly want to pay attention to that. But uh, we are expecting that to stay off to our south and west, impacting the southeastern United States and uh, on over into Kentucky, Tennessee, and the Ohio River Valley, away from us. But uh, we're looking at uh, relatively quiet weather here in southern New England for the next couple of days. We'll have the update on the showers for us on Thursday, and we'll let you know what's up for the upcoming weekend coming up on 12 News This Morning.